before we get started, I, I think um, I think I'm missing something. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Hey, hey, <laughs> hey uh, do you guys want to help me with this drone here? Should just go on your drone? Yeah. Let's talk specs first of all, because it's the most basic thing. Alright. Pause. Can you shut that door? Alright, yeah. Please excuse the birds if you hear in the background. I can't make them stop tripping. Let's talk specs first of all. So this drone, I think it weighs 300 grams. Really light. Like I use more in my chem experiments. Such a such a tiny drone. I don't even think it falls under the regulations, which is fantastic for me because I think the regulations is over like 1.3 kilograms or something. It's like basically that. like a toy. It is basically yeah. like a toy. Very expensive, high tech yeah. <laughs> toy. It shoots 1080p and 30 fps, I think. So it's decent. Uh, not 4K. But at the same time, if you're gonna... video, <laughs> yeah. I have a question. Yes. Do you know the charge time? Because I want to see. It. Yes. Yeah. Yes. The <laughs> charge time is around an hour and twenty minutes. An hour and twenty minutes. Yeah. For sixteen That's minutes of flight time. We're in Canada, so uh, this drone here costs seven hundred dollars Canadian. Just the drone. That's all you get. You get a drone. You get charging stuff, and you get some spare propellers. That's what comes with the drone. You're paying seven hundred dollars Canadian for that. You could you could opt for the fly more package. That would cost you around a thousand dollars Canadian. This drone, it's a smart drone. I don't know if you guys know about the 3DR Solo drone. No. Have you guys heard of that? Definitely not. No. Okay, so the 3DR Solo was basically the industry's first attempt at a smart drone. I think, meaning that uh, it would have set flight routes. It would be right. able to return to home. Wait, so can I do that? Yes. Oh. So that's yes. so much better because DJI so is it's like the land pad and just leave it. And just leave it, yes. Wow. So, so if you're on a bike ride, if you're on a bike ride or something. Also that's collision avoidance. I hear it's pretty good. We'll test that out. <laughs> I mean, Hopefully not uh, like by accident, but you know. So yeah, set flight paths, collision avoidance. And you don't even need a controller to fly this thing. You can fly it from either your phone or you could be a Jedi, and I think this is the coolest thing in the world. I don't know if you can see from the picture, but right here, it has a little sensor. Yeah. It has a little sensor. So what you do, you, you, you'd be like, go up, and it'll and it'll rise. You'd be like, go left, go right, and it'll follow your hand, and if you do this, it'll take a picture. Like, I just think that. Wait, you go like, what? Yeah, if you do this, if you do wow. this, it's supposed to what? take a picture. This? Yeah, it's like a selfie drone. I don't know who's gonna use a drone for selfies, but, <laughs> like, that's a pretty expensive I mean, selfie I... stick. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go grab the drone. That's so stable, that's amazing. Uh, <laughs> It sends really fast. It sends like it goes it goes up really fast. Back to the drone. Back here. To the drone. Oh god. It's so high. That is really high. Land aircraft now. Okay. It's going down, it's going down. Oh. Wow. This this is fantastic. That was great. This is <laughs> oh, all right, you ready? Sure. Oh. oh my gosh, I feel like a Jedi. It is really fighting the wind. It's quite windy out. And this is doing pretty good. Like the image isn't bad. But honestly, this is a smart drone. I'm impressed. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. really impressed. Mostly because it's like it's like pretty windy out right now. And it's stable. And, and you see how small this thing is. And it the image quality looked pretty good. Just a first look at it, it's pretty good. We're gonna, we're gonna go back home and uh, give a bit more analysis on this. And good drone. Um, yeah, that's... Good drone. The thing that impressed me the most is yeah. definitely how it handled the wind. Yeah. That was oh. Uh-oh. Hello? I'll find out though. 
So definitely the most impressive part of this drone was 100% how it handled the wind. It, it was pretty windy out today. Not gonna lie. Definitely. You saw it struggling once, like a little bit. Like you saw it. You saw it. You saw it in the video. It was yeah. pretty stable. It was pretty stable. The gimbal, even though it's a two-axis gimbal, it was it was doing just fine. The stabilizer. So are you able to rotate? You know, to rotate? You know, yes. Now, right? So although it's off right now, but <laughs> when the gimbal is active, you can rotate this. It'll stay pointing in the same. Oh, wait, so the, gi the gimbal stays in the same spot too, like when the drone moves. Yeah, like that's what the yeah. gimbal does. It counters the motion of the drone. So it keeps the picture. Yeah, stable. See, when buying this drone, for the price that I paid, I could have got an old refurbished Phantom 3 Pro. Or if Parsons got, got me that discount, then I could have gotten an attic. Remember those three things we said? Portability, price, yeah. quality. Quality. Yeah. quality. Definitely the Phantom 4 or 3 has the best quality. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. It's the most stable. It's a way bigger camera. Way bigger camera. Yeah. Mavic is a close second because it shoots 4K and has a 3 axis gimbal. But you know, the Phantom 3 is the, out of these three that I could have got, the, the Phantom 3 is the winner. Uh, but that being said, it's not bad. Yes, yes, Price. Right. Yes, this is the lowest. On Best Buy, the refurbished Phantom 3 is, uh, is pretty cheap. It's like the same as this. The Mavic, just the Mavic. So just the drone and the remote oh, is a thousand. A thousand. It's, I think it's 1300 base for just the Mavic. I could have had that drop down to, Andrew said, like around 800. So that would have been another option, but that's a big if. So given that I had that flexibility with the price, because they're all the same, they're all the same price, I chose this because I think it best suits what we're gonna be using for. Super portable, super easy to fly, decent price, and it's it's good enough quality. But yeah, that's concludes.